Hi, I'm Steph from Dynamic Fitness, and today we're gonna to be doing a stretch routine to help you get a little bit further in your pancake fold, which is a variation on middle splits where you're laying all the way flat with a flat back onto the ground. So we're gonna be starting in a standing position today, coming up with a nice, big, deep breath, and then just gently folding forward, releasing through the hamstrings, and coming back up. Keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Just start opening up through all your muscles, using your breath to help guide you. Lovely. We're going to be coming right back into a nice wide position now, coming straight forward, bending through an open legged good morning. So you've got a nice flat back here. The most important thing for all these exercises we're practicing today is that flat back, getting into your hamstrings, your glutes, and your hip flexors. Lovely, and let's do one more here. Good, so coming from that nice good morning, we're just gonna open that little bit wider now. Point your feet towards the front of the, uh, towards the side of the room, sorry. We're gonna go into a nice low, um, sumo squat, you want to try to get into that 90 degree position with both of your legs here and you're just going to open out wide, hold, gently pulse a little bit, try to get a little bit deeper, really stretch through. So you want to try to feel like you're on a nice flat plane here. So you'll see that my back is nice and straight, pelvis is tucked here so that lower back isn't dipping and my knees are approaching the line of my shoulders. If I can, I want to push them back that little bit further. So keep holding there. Good. And now I want you with a flat back to fold forward. Use your hands to help keep you upright. That's going to push through those knees and push you back a little bit. You've got a nice flat back here. I'm going to turn again so you can see. You're in that sumo squat, 90 degree flat back forward fold using your knees to help press back a little bit. Keep that sumo squat, drop one hand down to the floor and twist slowly up, other hand straight up to the ceiling. Keep that pelvis even, so you're just twisting a little bit through the upper spine and other side. Lovely, gently folding forward. Now I want you to just fold all the way forward, flat back, hands, feet facing forward, and you're just going to be keeping a flat back, reaching forward, coming down as low as you can, getting into those hamstrings now. So push yourself that little bit lower. Allow gravity to really help you uh, pull down more. Make sure you're not releasing your head too much and you're not tensing your neck either. You want a nice alignment in your spine. Good. The important thing here is that flat back. So stay up tall if you need to. Slowly lower and down. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. You might have a little bit even um, think about pulling your shoulder blades back. Now what I want you to do is twist your hands around, keeping that flat back. Start to walk through underneath your legs. Flat back is the most important thing here. Lovely. So now just hold that. Good. You can stay in all of these stretches for quite a long time. You might want to start just with five, 10 seconds. You might want to move up to about two minutes. See how you're feeling? Good. Just gonna gently come up. Okay, so walk your feet in a little bit. Flat back and gently roll up now. Okay, lovely. So we're just gonna take a quick little breather and then we're gonna go down into another stretch. So just um, loosen out let your legs relax a little. You can do this whole flow just at once, but we just wanna give it a little bit of a rest if you're first time through. So we're going now into, um, um, into a low squat. So we're gonna start bringing this down. So after being up in that high position, come down now. You're gonna come, um, you were down here, so just say we started down at the bottom. We're just gonna gently fold our legs and come down into a nice low squat. So here, you're gonna have your feet in that 45 degree angle. You're gonna have your legs nice and open, flat back, and push with those arms all the way out. Lovely. Stay holded here, I'm just gonna move the camera down. 
so you can see these next on the floor moves a little bit better. Good, so here we are in our low squat. And we're gonna come down into um, our wide leg split position. Now to move into the forward folding, into that, uh, getting ready for that pancake on the floor. So here we go. Just come into a nice, comfortable, open legged position. You're going to have your feet, which you can't see mine. I'll move over a little bit for a second. You're gonna have your feet facing upward. And now I want you just to do a little play with the feet. So point them forward and move back. So twisting through that ankle, feel how that feels different rotating through your hip. So as you're rotating through the ankle, start now to lead with your knee and into your hip. So you can see that hip joint now is what's leading and moving my foot twist. So my whole leg is twisting. You can see what muscles feel tight, um, might be in the back, might be here in the inner thigh, might be across the top, might be here behind the knee, and that'll help you know where you need to start working. Lovely. Okay, so I'm gonna come back now into the middle so you can see what's happening next. We're going to go into um, a flat back pulse. So what I want you to do is reach up and lower down. You've got a nice flat back here, good and straight. Up and lower down. Now I want you to put your hands just onto your legs. Start to gently pull, hold on to those legs. Keep your hands just touching them. Flat back coming forward. So your hands stay uh, low and not pulling out in front of you because that's going to help curve your back. When you start doing this, you can watch my shoulders automatically come up. Keep them out wide to the side to practice that open chest and that big flat back. Lovely. Now, I want you to li lift your hands up above your head. You've got that flat back. Good, this is gonna feel a lot stronger. Pull down, you're gonna get a little lat exercise now. So we're coming up and down. Touch your hands if you can, up and down. Hold that pulse as low as you're able to go forward. So if you've got a more forward move, do it. Lovely. You might feel here where you're tighter or looser on one side or the other. One more. Lovely. And we're gonna come right back up to a nice strong back. We're gonna now turn and start working on each leg individually. So you're gonna keep that pelvis nice and even. Gently put one hand across towards the opposite leg across the front of your body other hand right to the side. So you can see I've stayed exactly the same here in my torso. I'm just beginning to twist. Now, pelvis stays the same. Twist with your shoulders and then down towards that side. We're just gonna start flat back, coming a little bit forward. And that's all you're gonna do. Just inch your way. Hold when you get towards your lowest position. Flat back, nice flat torso. Pull in with that belly, keep that chest open drawing back with your um, your shoulder blades. Lovely. So again, hold any of these positions. If you feel one leg is tighter than the other, you can start working one leg a little bit more than the other, but you don't want to ignore both legs. Make sure you do um, pay attention to both legs. Okay, we're gently going to come back up now, untwist, and then to the other side. So straight torso, hand across, still straight torso, other hand, and gently now, pushing down flat back towards my knee. Lovely. We'll keep working here in these torso uh, single legs. We're just going to be modifying the position a little bit so you can get that a little bit deeper. Because that's the whole point of the stretch routine is by the end, you should feel like you can get further than you could in the beginning. Like you have started cold today. So you'll watch me stretch right along with you. We're about nine minutes in as well, so you should start to feel nice and open. Good, so now we're coming back up to a nice seated position. I want you to bring both your legs in now, lifting through the knee, and we're gonna keep that wide leg position, coming up nice and tall, hands together in front of you. So draw those shoulders back, open through that chest, hands in a nice little prayer or swimming position, and then you're gonna pulse forward. So you're not gonna be able to get quite as deep because you'll notice that your hip flexors here are gonna be in the way, but you're practicing that forward lean with that flat back. So we're just gonna pulse here for a little bit. Again, every single one of these moves, you can flow through in your own pace and time. If you find one feels better or worse than others, skip or modify, that's absolutely fine. 
This is just to start to show a nice guidance through what you can do to get to your pancake. Okay, coming back up, you've got your nice flat back still. Nothing's changed in your torso position. All you're gonna do now is drop one of your legs. So we started with this leg, we're gonna drop that left leg down. You've got this right leg in that same position and we're going to go into our torso, into our uh, swimmers, twist and pulse. So the most important thing here is keep both of those, um, those bum cheekbones right on the floor. Flat back, open through the chest and shoulders then you're just pulsing. Start to feel it that little bit more. If you want, if that's feeling a bit strong in your back, pop your hands on the floor. You can do the same thing in that pulse position. Lovely. Good. And relax. We're going to come back up through the center to that middle position again, pulsing through. Let me just make sure my legs are even there. Here we go. reaching forward good and now we're going to go into that other leg so out long to the side this one stays where it is and then pulse turn with that nice big flat back pulse this is really good for that back strengthening to keep you in that upright position the whole time to make sure that your back feels strong enough to really hold you up in that um, nice flat back position without any bends in the upper or lower spine. You don't want any curves. Good. And coming back into your center. Lovely. We're just going to hold it here for one minute. Um, I want you to come now into just a butterfly pose to stretch out again. So lifting up really high through your spine folding that little bit forward, keep that flat back. So again, you're gonna have that, um, you're gonna be opening through the um, inner thighs, and then you should be able to hopefully come down a little bit lower. Lovely. Flat back, most important thing here, keep open through the chest, make sure that your lower spine isn't um, rounding or curving in either direction. We've got just a couple more moves now. We're gonna do one that is just a bit of fun, and then I'm gonna show you three that you can do individually without having to include them in this program routine. So that was that first little flow to go up and down. Um, to get out of this one here, what we're gonna do is just come up um, so you can see just a way to come up out of it, but we're going to then go into some fun ones. Um, so bear with me one second while we now slowly press up and back. Good, I want you just to point your toes forward, nice straight line, arms up overhead, and we're just going to fold down into a nice long hamstring stretch. You can see now my back is no longer flat. I'm just letting that curve gently massage my spine, folding forward, lovely. Good, rolling back up now. Carefully, let's stand up off the ground. So pop your feet both under you, coming up into a kneeling position, into a low, um, a low lunge, and pushing through to stand. Perfect. So let me just move this camera back up here. Most important and most exciting thing now is the wooliest, stretchiest, curviest socks you got. We are going to be doing a um, press up. Not something you thought you'd hear from me in <laughs> this stretch routine, but we've got a press up for this, um, a press up with this stretch, which should be fun. You're gonna be able to get into your lower, your upper spine, your lower spine, your arms start to strengthen as well as stretch through. So let's we'll see if I can get the camera angle right. Actually, I might start you down here. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is stay up nice and tall, arms up in the air, you can't see, but we're folding down now, walking out to a plank position. And then what I want you to do is open wide, press up, slide all the way back up, down, press up. So you're keeping that big angle. Allow yourself to now open wider so you're in a forward fold position where we started from down, Ooh, there we go, where's the angle, there we go, press up, and then sliding back up through those socks. Can't really do it so well with 
the space, but we'll keep trying. Here we go. Down, press, and up all the way to stand. Lovely. So you can keep that going there. I would recommend about, depends how long you want to stay down really in that, um, that bottom position. So you're out nice and wide, holding that there. You can stay there for, I don't know, as long as you want really, but probably recommend about 10 seconds to start. And then if you want, you can just go out and in, really gently easing in and out, trying to get down a little bit lower with each press up. Um, and I'd recommend again doing about eight to 10 to start and then building your way up. So he'll practice that long back. You'll practice that fall forward. He'll get really into your legs and you'll be strengthening your upper body at the same time. So it's a win-win for everything. Okay, so now I've got for you three different moves that I want you to be able to hold starting with a 15 second hold because they're quite strong and you're gonna be moving into a five to 10 minute hold for this. So it's something that you can do while you're resting, while you're reading, while you're um, watching TV, it can be anything, chit chatting on the phone. Um, so here we go, we're gonna start with the frog position. And what you're gonna do is come out, I'm just gonna take my socks off now so I don't slide everywhere. Um, what you're gonna do is come out really nice and wide with your legs. So you've got your knees in a 90 degree position and you're folding, falling forward deep into that split, but you're going to be forward with your chest. So keep your back straight. You're not coming up into an upright position. So when you're in that 90 degree position with your knees, pushing down as much as you can, start falling now. So, um, if you want to work your upper body, keep this like a plank. So you've got your shoulders in line with your elbows, nice and tall, and keep letting gravity just press down through your pelvis. Keep that flat line, keep your abs really engaged, nice and tight. Pull up through your pelvic floor and just hold and let the, the body collapse down at the bottom. Let that relax. If this feels really strong for you, which it might, um, you can then put a pillow you grab my pillow right underneath your stomach. So keeping that clench, because that's very important for you to practice, then just drape yourself that little bit over that pillow. So you can see that my legs haven't changed position. I'm able to open up really nicely, but I'm a little bit more relaxed. It's not quite as tense through that opening at the bottom. And you're gonna stay here. Like I said, start for about 15 seconds, coming out if you need to, because it's very strong and then opening into a, um, letting it just last for two minutes, up to five with this one, a bit longer. Um, if once you're feeling strong without your pillow, start letting your lower body begin to collapse more onto the floor. Start with your head, straight head, forehead down. Really watch your neck and spine, make sure they stay in alignment. Coming down completely to the floor. Once you have your chest on the floor, you can put your head on one side or the other. And then just keep stuck on my mat, keep falling down as you can. I'm not gonna be going anywhere. My mat's holding me tight. So recommend here, making sure you've got slippery trousers on, towel underneath your knees. Good, so keep that flat back to come out very gently, coming back up out of it in that same position that you did, pulling your feet towards your bum now and slowly easing backwards. Pressing yourself up, you're gonna end up in um, almost like a, a start to a child's pose position. So you've got your legs nice and wide and then gently bring them back in. Make sure once you've been stretching for that really long amount of time that you really gently ease out of that extended position because um, you could really injure yourself by coming out of it too quickly because your muscles are <laughs> used to being in that lengthened position and you don't want them to contract or move too quickly. So take everything really nice and slowly and gently and with control. So use the strength of your muscles from other areas, really make sure the antagonist muscles helping move that muscle back into the position. Use your arms to help adjust if you need um, to lift up to make sure that you keep it nice and safe. Good. So the next one we're going to come into, ultimate all-time favorite. You guys know this. I've already done a video on it. Legs up the wall. So let's see if I can get, oh, sorry. I'll take my sock out of there. Okay. So we've got um, legs up the wall hold. We're going to be doing two different ones. Um, so the first one is to just have your legs really nice and wide against the wall. So I don't have a full wall here, as you can see. Um, so I'm just gonna 
start inching closer. And then what I want you to do is when your feet are up against that wall, hold on to the wall and just gently press. You've got a flat back here and you're gonna start coming more and more forward towards the wall. So this is gonna help really get into that position as you work towards your pancake. So I'm just gonna come out so I can demonstrate a little bit. So you can see now my feet are on the wall. So if this is my widest position here, I'm going to keep my flat back and fold forward toward the wall. So now I know that I can't move my feet, I can't get out of my position, my back must be straight because everything here is straight leading up to the wall. So my bum is pushed down gently, both sides are um, holding onto that floor, there's not a lift or a hitch in either leg, I'm even through the pelvis, my pelvis is tucked a little forward so my lower back isn't arching in that direction, my knees are unlocked, but still, um, but still straight. And then you're just going to start inching towards the wall with that flat back. So help put your hands push down a little bit as you need and use that wall to keep your feet up against, um, so you're getting into that, those inner thighs and then coming up out of that. So you can practice through that one again, 30 seconds to begin so you get used to that and then up to 10 minutes in that moving forward position. The last one I'm going to show you, again using the wall, we're going to come up all the way, push your bum as close to the wall as you can. Here we go. This is the hardest part of the whole move. <laughs> there we are. And then you're going to open all the way through as much as you can, really pressing up. Uh, because again, I don't have the whole wall here, I'm just going to bring my legs up a little bit so you can see. So if this is my widest position, I'm just going to hang out here flat back, so my back is pressed all the way on the ground, my pelvis is that little bit tilted, still engaging my core, I'm opening through the chest. You then can start playing around with your arms a little bit if you want. Keep them up and down, practice opening side to side. You'll be here a while, then just let gravity start to decrease um, or increase that space between your legs. And you'll keep going down and lower and lower. So just relax into that pose. If you're feeling good, if you're feeling bored, I've got a bonus for you here. So make sure your pelvis is tucked, make sure your abs are engaged. And then I want you to take your hands up above your head, tuck your fingers right behind your ears. We're just gonna do a little crunch. So you're looking up towards the corner of the ceiling, lifting those shoulders off the floor. We're gonna go for 10, that's three. Here's four, so lift through your pelvic floor, crunching through the abs. Hopefully you'll feel it in the legs, but they're just resting. Halfway. There's seven and eight. Good, so you're getting all the way up towards your belly button, crunching those that rib cage towards your hip, and 10. Lovely, resting back down. Arms out to the side, relax through the chest. Keep letting gravity work for you, bringing those down, those legs down. Good, and now we're gonna come back up out of it for one more stretch just to get into a different muscle. So when you, again, when you lift out of this, it might feel really hard. So if you can't just pull up with your strength, use your arms to help guide your legs all the way back up into that upright position. Hang out here for a second, shake through your legs, make sure all the blood is still flowing. And then I want you to come out into a 90 degree angle with your knees. So you're just gonna push back to about there, flat back, and then we're just gonna cross one leg over the other, and you've got a nice little glute stretch here. Again, staying really open through the shoulders and chest, resting that lower back all the way on the ground and let's switch sides. So back to that 90 degree position and then pushing through that knee and we're getting into our glute, into that inner thigh. Whatever you do, make sure that when you're stretching, you're never holding onto a joint. Um, so right here you can see it's the top, just above my ankle, that's actually on my thigh. It's just below my knee. That'll help protect your joints and tendons. Lovely. So now we're just gonna roll over onto your side. So all the way to come out onto your side, pushing up with your arm. And if you need, um, or if you want, if you're ready to dare, open up really big and wide.
side. Nice upright arm position, folding all the way forward and keeping that flat back. How close are you to your pancake? Everybody, great work. Let me know how you get on. If you have any questions about um, any of the movements or if you want any other advice on how to keep progressing through your stretches. Um, and I hope you all really enjoyed that program. See you soon.